Masaki. Nobody cares! Why don't you just go look for some coins or something under the vending machines or something? Welcome back everyone to another episode of Bumbles. In today's episode of Bumbles, we're taking on some more Doki Doki. Now in the last episode of Mumbles, a whole bunch of freaky things went off. Yuri broke her, or not, Yuri, I'm sorry, Masaki broke her neck, but then she didn't really. But then there was weird things going on, and now Monica wants to talk to us. So Yuri, she asked Yuri to leave, and she wants to talk to Napperdu. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew, things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Napperdu, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? Oh, it's doing the weird thing with the screen again. I don't like seeing the other girls giving you a hard time. With how mean the sake is and everything. And Yuri being a bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because I know all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. It just... I, there are some things I've been hoping to talk about you with. Things that I know only you can understand. So that's why... Wait, not yet! No! Okay. It's like she was breaking the game barrier, but the game didn't let her do it. Very, 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 very odd. Very odd. Vacation. Excitement. Pink. Secretive, Melody, Vivid. I don't think it matters what we pick here. Spinning, Silly, Tedious, Hope, Destiny, Sensation, Starscape, Puppy, Fluffy, Sing, Headphones. Who the hell was down there? Bad. Who is down there? Socks? All right, wait, 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 wait. No, I don't want to, I don't want to stop the flow of the game to do it, but there was somebody down there, and I don't know if it was Signore or who it was. Hi, Emperor Drew. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best teas today. Monica! I told you not to! Oh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Misaki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You were the one who stood like to do it on a regular basis or something. I wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what has gotten into you lately? Look. I did some thinking yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Masaki. Nobody cares! Why don't you just go look for some coins or something under the vending machines or something? That is messed up, Yuri. I'm not cool with that. Oh, I don't blame you for being mad. Masaki, it's okay. I Oh man, the last one here again. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must really have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still making time for piano? Well, not, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Motivates me to work hard for the festival too. Anyway, Napperdu, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans for today. Ah, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Napperdu already is engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad we've already gotten him into the literature, Monica? I... I suppose I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! What was up with the eyes, Yuri? Oh, thanks for understanding, Monica. Yuri, you're freaking me the freak out, girl! Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? No, not at all. Oh, thanks very much. If there's one thing I can make reading anybody, it's a cup of tea. Not to mention... Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small picture from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside of it. Can you hold this for a second? Yeah! Yuri hands me a picture of Barter and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this into the teacher's desk. Let's get some more. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. Simply watch her movements. To my surprise, 
The way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Yuri apparent appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. It's okay. You stay here, doofus. I know it won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling a pit water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for the misunderstanding. Monica, it's cool. People are freaking crazy around here. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said she wouldn't be long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored waiting this hard. Excited to go and look for her. Uh-oh, this is bad. When you start looking for people now, Purdue, bad things happen. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <gasps> A sharp inhale as someone is sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Reach around the corner and peer around it. Yuri? She cut herself. Kill! What is going on again? What the freak, dude? I'm bored of what is it? I can't read all that. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Napper, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature to the kettle 200 degrees. Now, now let's get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. Uh, I shouldn't do it any less than making tea for others, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll really be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You're in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out that's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyways. Ah, that's great, Yuri. You're not freaking me out at all. Just don't push yourself around too much. You're always worrying about me now, Purdue. Very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I want Yuri to pour a cup of tea for us. No, but do I have another request? Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, uh, what's that? A little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending at my desk. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly. I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's... It's most likely because my... Uh... My... Your posterior, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Yes! I have terrible reading postures, so that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. Well, go ahead and get the book. Treat the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since I take it since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I sit against the wall, teacups at our side, as if in sync we assume the same reading position as last time, each of us holding on to half of the book, except this time our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well today. Ah! Yuri slides closer until I'll shorten the picture. How am I supposed to focus reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's much more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup, holding it with my hands. If it's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only assume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Du, du, du. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax. Put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Oh, I'm sorry. I briefly let go of the book, finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Oh, thanks. It's okay. I won't take any. Yeah, you sure? You know, if I touch it, then I'll make it smudges on the pages. Oh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. I'm a freaking moron. My bad. No need to apologize. Uh, no need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Okay then, Yuri, you do your thing. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it, but I don't have a hard, any harder of a time reading it from it. As I but as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri's already totally focused on reading again, and I can take a chocolate and pop it in my mouth. So I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. What are we talking about right now, my dude? I apparently placed the chocolate in her mouth. 
Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me as if she needs to confirm what just happened. Oh, never do. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Never do. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Never do. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Never do. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Never do? Yuri suddenly presses her hand against my chest. Okay, this is free. What is this happening to me? I don't know, because you're freaking out. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Yuri, you need to calm the freak down. Take some deep breath, breathing exercises. Makes me not even want to read. I just want to look at you. You're freaking me to freak out. <gasps> Yuri, back the freak up. Back up. <laughs> back up. <laughs> Yuri, back up. I mean it. <laughs> Time to share poems. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. You are the only sane one around here, it feels like. Never do. I think you saw something earlier you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend this much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with pocket knives. What? Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings different one to school reading like she has a collection or something. And it's definitely not because she's impressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of hide from it. It might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you're kind of enabling her, so I'd say not saying it's your fault though, but I guess this is why I have to explain all this to you. So if you think, so I think if you keep your distance, that'd probably be best for her. Why you're at it, don't be shy to spend more time with me. I get it, Monica, you want me to spend time with you and I'd be glad to, but Yuri keeps grabbing me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. Anyways, I've worked really, really, really hard on this poem, so I hope it's uh, effective. Here it goes. Now what the hell is going on? Jeez, that really startled me. Um, well, I guess it's kind of messed up at uh, writing this poem. I was just trying to... Never mind. Let's just move on. Misaki. <gasps> eh, this one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyways. I still can't really tell you how much you really care about Freddy. But either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're really not spending any time with anyone but Yuri, I still think it's nice to have activities for these that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, you know I'm not president or vice president or anything. Doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just be clear, this poem makes means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's some, been something I've been worried about lately. Yuri's been acting kind of strangely. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. It's been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm, forcing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you convince her to talk to, talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try to bring... Being, I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but... Right now, I really don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, if you can do anything, just help. I don't want anything bad to happen. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she seems to be really dismissive about us. It's like she wants to, wants us to ignore us. I'm so I'm mad at her right now. That's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. I think, I think I under, I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in even trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Napperdo? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay, just Monica. Just Monica. Who should I show my poem to next? Yuri. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. 
Never know. I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? No, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Nefer. Do I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds a palm to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. Hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over again. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Back up, Yuri! You need to calm down! I'll give myself paper cuts so the skin oil enters into, so your skin oil enters into my bloodstream. You are freaking me the freak out, girl! Now you can have my poem too! Besides, after you read it, I know you're really gonna want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry and read it! Yuri? Do you like it? I wrote it for you! In case you couldn't tell my poems about. <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my sense. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in this club? Yuri, you're, you're, you're looking a little, um, you know, a little creepy. A little, a little creepy. Oh, I, I think I'm going to vomit. Yes? No. Yes? No. No. Went to the abandoned warehouse that night. I was lost. Looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room. It's sitting in walls beyond this deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side or to a wall. Anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole in indeterminate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sounds of splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Okay. So guys, this, this game, we're going to stop here, but this game, guys, this game is insane. It's, it's literally insane. I can understand why people liked it so much now, because it's really good, but it's really cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.